welcome to another video about Apache Guacamole. Today I will be showing you guys how to um, copy and paste files while you have an active connection in Linux or an active SSH connection in Guacamole. So what you want to do is go into um, your settings. You want to go to connections and then you're going to go into your SSH connection. Okay. Once you select that, you want to go all the way down to the option where it says enable SFTP. Okay. All you need to do is hit the check button. If you wanted to um, put us all specify a specific directory so that um, whoever is logged into the SSH uh, via SSH um, on Apache Guacamole can see that directory. You can specify the path in here. Okay. For example, we can say home um, test. Okay. If that home test folder or directory is actually a valid directory, and the user has permissions to it, they're going to have access to that directory. But in this case, I just want to enable um, SFTP so we can be able to drag and drop files on the SSH without using um, the command SFTP. Okay. Uh, what you can do is you can also disable uploads so that you can only allow a user to download stuff um, on the web browser or you can disable download and only allow uploads okay so i'm gonna save that so we can go ahead and test it so when we go back to the home page and i do open my ssh connection and type in my password all you need to do at this stage is do uh, press the option on your keyboard shift out and ctr okay when you do that this option is gonna open up or this bar is gonna open up on the side and now you see here we have a devices tab okay when you click on that devices you can see this is the um all the directories or the folders that we have in that ubuntu system that i just accessed using ssh Okay, so if I go into the home directory and I open my home directory here, I can go ahead and paste the file in there. So if we go back here a little bit, I'm going to exit this and use the shift or CTR uh, out and control again. And then if I do LS, you can see I have nothing in my home directory. But if I go back in there and open that up, I can push the upload button and then um, go to downloads and I can select a file. And once I do that, you can see it says file transfers are complete. Okay. And all I just need to do is do um, the CTR out. Um, shift again and if i do the ls you can see now that the file that i was trying to upload has been uploaded okay and i could just go and remove that okay so pretty straightforward this brings us to the end of this video um i hope you learned something and i hope this can be useful for you in the future if you have any questions, you can leave it down in the comment section and please like and subscribe to my channel.